Hey guys, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel and another weekly vlog. I'm starting out this weekly vlog uh, with a grocery haul and I'm actually not vlogging anything else today besides this because I'm gonna be working at my desk pretty much all day long. I've got so many things to do at my desk, pay bills and YouTube stuff and some things for my college, my daughter's college, like it's just a bunch of stuff. But anyway, I did go and do my grocery pickup and it was pretty exciting because they had everything I ordered except for one thing, which is pretty rare these days to get everything or almost everything that I order. So that's pretty exciting. Loki is hot and he's just gonna stand there and pant, I guess, the whole time. But anyway, a lot of repeats, some things that the girls used to be obsessed with that they kind of had forgotten about. So starting over here, the only two things that didn't come from Kroger are these two things I got from Target, another face sunscreen for me in the morning and eye makeup remover. Everything else came from Kroger. <clears throat> so I got four gallons of milk back here in the back, two things of yellow corn, two things of northern beans, two things of organic chicken. My husband likes these Sargento balanced breaks, ignore that grocery bag. Um, he likes these, so I got him some of those. He also likes to take these oatmeals to work, so I got him two more of those. I got Loki a can of wet food. We give him this once a month when he has his heartworm pill, and that is, that's actually coming up next week. So that's for him. These the girls used to be obsessed with, and then they kind of forgot about. But my oldest the other day said, she's like, oh, I really like to have veggie straws. So I got them some veggie straws. I also got organic Doritos and organic corn chips. A thing of dairy-free ranch, vegetable oil for my husband and my brownies that we have every Saturday. Two boxes of my husband's cereal, which he'll be excited about because they've been out of that for a couple weeks at our store. Uh, trying something new is the Applegate Organics Organic Chicken and Apple Sausage. I don't know if we're going to eat that or my husband's going to eat it, but I thought it would look good and somebody might like it. So I got that. Two things of these Simply Steam for my husband's lunches. These cookies are amazing. The girls love them. They are dairy-free, gluten-free, plant-based, peanut and tree nut-free, non-GMO, and they are so good, and you can eat them raw, so most of the time, we don't even cook them. They just kind of open them up and put them in their refrigerator and eat one here and there just the way it is, and they're really good. So I got two things of those, and a thing of the Bob Evans mashed potatoes. We don't have that very often, but my youngest really likes them, especially when I make baked chicken, which I'm planning to make next week. So I picked up some of those. And I also got two uh, really big organic tomatoes for tonight's dinner. We're probably gonna have turkey tacos. We have that a lot. So that is everything I picked up at the grocery. I'm going to put all this stuff away and then get started working at my desk. It is 119, so I could pretty much work there the rest of the day and still not get done. But it is Saturday, so I won't do that. I'll work on it for a while, take a shower, and then my husband will be coming home and we always watch a movie and have brownies. So that is what's up with me today. Hey guys, it is a new day. It's actually Sunday, it is 1047 and my husband and my youngest should be home any minute from church. My oldest stayed here this morning, so she's upstairs getting ready and my nephew actually graduated high school a few days ago and so today we're meeting my parents and my nephew and my brother and his wife at a park and we're just gonna hang out for a little while this afternoon and kind of celebrate his graduation, which is so hard to believe. He's only about nine months older than my oldest. So this time next year, she will be a high school graduate, which blows my mind, but that's the plan for today. Um, I started the dishwasher. It's not perfect. There are still some dishes and the carpet cleaner is out from, or the pieces from the carpet cleaner are out from a few days ago. My husband cleaned the carpet in the living room. We still are waiting, 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 waiting for our couch. And it has been pushed back yet again. I'll tell you that story here in a minute. But we just basically have some beach chairs in here that I got for our beach trip later this year. And for right now, we're using them just to have something to sit on to support our back. We had a futon for a little while, but we got rid of it because some pieces of the couch are supposed to come in a few days and of course I'll show you that when it comes I guess I don't know I wanted to surprise you but anyway the reason we got rid of the futon when we did is because we were having this wall repainted it's the same color it's just we had an old wall hanging that was right here that had left some really sizable bracket holes and this wall is very very unforgiving because I took the curtains down but you get direct sunlight this way and you also get direct sunlight coming from that window right there so it's really unforgiving. Any marks along this wall 
it are gonna stick out like a sore thumb and they did so I had to have the painter come and he painted this whole wall all the way up the stairs and everything again so after he did that my husband cleaned the carpet we are gonna get new carpet I'm gonna sit down because this camera is struggling to focus we are gonna get new carpet but we haven't even picked it out yet we were waiting until the couch got here or at least some of the couch got here so we could make sure that um, we get a carpet that's gonna match the couch which shouldn't be too hard it's a very neutral couch there's a hair on my face it's a very neutral couch it has a lot of browns like not brown like tan cream gray like even the accent pillows that come with the couch come with gray accent pillows which kind of which kind of throws me off a little bit i was really worried that is there more gray in it than i am thinking because obviously this wall is not gray it may look gray but it's not and i was like gray is not going to look good with the wall so we went to the store and we were like can we borrow a cushion and bring it home and make sure and they were like yes yeah. so we borrowed a cushion brought it home just to make sure that it matched before the painter repainted um and then it looked good so we went ahead and just had him repaint had it not matched at this point honestly the only thing to be that we could have done was really repaint the entire house which is unfortunate because everything is pretty much this color in here the kitchen up the stairs down the hallway like all the main areas are this color so i was really scared that it wasn't going to match but it looked like it did so that's good what's really super annoying is we ordered our couch in january they said it was going to be april before it came which would have been bad enough but you know it was the end of january so okay february march april three months without a couch so that's why we got the futon uh, because we already sold our couch and then they said it's going to be the end of may before you get your couch and that now they've pushed it until the end of june at least two of the pieces three of the pieces supposedly are available we have five pieces in our sectional and three of the pieces are supposed to be available now they're actually supposed to come in a few days so in this vlog you will probably see those pieces unless something goes wrong the other two pieces which are the arm pieces um have been pushed back again now until the end of june so this is going to be going on six months so if the carpet situation if, if carpeting is this hard to get these days just like furniture is i don't even know how long we'll have this carpet but it'll probably be for a while so that's why we went ahead and just cleaned it until we get new carpet but at least the walls painted at least the carpet's clean for now um, my husband and my youngest just got home so we're gonna run out and go to my nephew's graduation party i just cannot believe how fast these kids are growing it's unbelievable but we're gonna go and have a good time if anything interesting happens i will film for you I wonder how it feels to fall you wow. find out? <laughs> yes you feel it wobbling? Says, no, Wendy, I, I don't. I do. Okay. <laughs> I do. Yes, I do too. Okay, it is 3.30 and we're back home. Well, I am. My husband and the girls went skating. If it looks like I have been sneezing my head off, it's because I have been. I have probably sneezed. I don't know 50 times here in the last few hours because I had a really bad allergy situation a few days ago with something around the house but I had shut all the windows and like really didn't go anywhere outside that I didn't have to I uh, didn't take Loki for a walk these last few days and it was starting to get better but I kind of figured that being out today was going to really do me in. There's just so many trees in bloom and so many, oh, there's so much pollen. And I just, and I can't take allergy medicine because it dries me out too bad. And I think it messes with my pots. Um, so I haven't taken allergy medicine in years. And so I always hate, I love this time of year, but I hate this time of year because I know that I really just kind of have to, kind of just have to deal with it. Uh, I don't really know what I'm allergic to exactly. Um... But whatever it is it was out in full force today where we were um we weren't at our house we were pretty far away from our house so it, i don't know but anyway now i'm just gonna be like <sighs> trying to breathe the rest of the day but like i said my husband and the girls went skating they're open for a few more hours today so i always have this dilemma of like okay i've got a few hours to myself what do i do normally i would exercise i am not in the mood i'm extremely annoyed because you guys know how annoying sneezing is and i can't breathe out my nose and i just i'm not i'm not in the mood to, to work out today i do have a michael's pickup i need to run and go get um 
I'm actually gonna be doing something with my mom soon. Before Christmas, I had planned a day where she was supposed to come over and we were gonna either decorate, I think it was Christmas cookies or ornaments or something. And then she would spend the night and you know, we'd hang out and stuff like that. And I just thought that'd be really fun. Well, that was the plan before Christmas. Well, then my, both my parents got COVID in December. So obviously we couldn't do that. And then um, I had COVID in April. Like just, it seems like every time I was gonna try to plan something that something got in the way. So I thought I would reschedule and do something more summer themed since obviously Christmas is over and it's not gonna be for a while. Still wanted to have her over, and we see her other times too, but I just wanted to make more of a concentrated like event. So what I did was I ordered on Amazon, actually I'd seen on um, Bring Up Bates. I like that show and I watch it. I saw that on one of their old episodes, they'd gone to the beach and there was like a place where you could paint sand dollars. I thought that was really neat. And so I started looking around and I found Amazon. Um, there's a place on Amazon that sells sand dollars and I cannot believe they all came unbroken. So we're gonna have a sand dollar painting party um, and we'll probably make them into Christmas ornaments. So it's funny how it's still about Christmas even though it's not even close to Christmas. But they're pretty small so they're not gonna be giant which is nice because you wouldn't want a big giant one on the tree. I've got six of those came in a pack so that way if we mess up or something or one of them breaks, so that's the plan for her. I don't know what day exactly we're gonna do it. I'm waiting for at least a couple of the pieces of the couch to come in because she usually sleeps on the couch when she spends the night over here. Um, so like I said, that is supposed to come in a few days and that's really when I'll be able to like pick a date. Once I, I see the couch with my eyeballs and it's actually in there, um, then I'll go ahead and schedule that. Um, I just need to go to Michael's and pick up, there were some precision paint brushes I needed to get and a few colors of acrylic paint that I don't have. Um, so I'm gonna pick that up and I, um, then I'm gonna, oh, well actually I'm also gonna go by McDonald's because I really want a milkshake and maybe some nuggets. Yeah, then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do when I get back. I know I need to unload the dishwasher. There's so many things I need to do. I'll figure it out when I get back. Hey guys, it's a new day and I'm actually really excited because the furniture people just came and dropped off three of our five pieces of our sectional. So I'm really excited, number one, to just be that much closer to having our couch. But number two, having somewhere to sit besides the floor or a beach chair. And number three, it's really, really pretty. I was afraid we ordered it so long ago. We ordered it in January. I didn't even remember what it looked like. I didn't know how it was gonna look with the wall color. I just, it made me nervous because, well, I'll show you. But anyway, three of the pieces are here. It looks ginormous because it's already bigger than the couch that we had, especially like depth wise. But we've also had nothing in the living room for six months. So it looks really big. I'll take you in there and show you. Okay, here it is, at least some of it. And I was scared because it's so, so big. And like, we still have another piece that's missing on this side. And then I realized this piece right here is actually supposed to go right there. And then there's gonna be a piece with an arm here. And this is actually gonna be a chaise lounge with an arm there. So. It is definitely bigger than what we had. We also may have to get rid of the console table, which I'm not terribly worried about, except for the lamp. I would have to get some kind of a floor lamp there, which I typically don't like floor lamps, but I will if I have to. So that is an option if we find once the chaise lounge comes that it's too big. I mean, it's not gonna be any bigger than this. It's just gonna have an arm. So if I feel like it's too close there, this can come down a little teeny bit, not much. But you know, our other couch backed right up to this like the back of our couch used to be up against this table so it can come down a good what is that eight inches so it can come down some if it needs to before we have to get rid of the table it can also go back a little bit maybe an inch or two that way so for now it's going to stay here i have no clue when the other two pieces are going to come um, but like i said we're missing an arm here and the chaise with an arm there this will move over there once the chaise lounge comes in Overall, I'm really happy. I was really worried that it wasn't gonna match the wall color because the wall color is like a, it's not green, but some people say they see green in it. It's mostly just a neutral brown, but I was nervous because the throw pillows that they put with this couch are gray. And I'm like, is this couch supposed to be gray? It's got black and other textures and colors in it. If you can see, like it does have black, it does have gray, it has brown, it has taupe, it has cream. So I got scared though when they when they put the gray pillows with it. I was like, oh, it's supposed to be gray and my wall is not gray. But I think I think it's just it just pulls out the gray in the couch and I actually kind of even like the gray pillow with the wall, which I really didn't think I would. So, cuz I was originally going to just ditch, ditch these pillows 
and do something else. And I still probably will add other pillows, um, but I kind of like those. So we'll see, I'll live with that for a little while, but at least we have something to sit on. I'm really excited. I think it's pretty. I love it with the wall and I'm really happy with it. I want to share it with you guys. Hey guys, it's a new day. It's actually almost noon and I just got it. Woo, went the wrong direction. I just got in the car to go pick up lunch for me and the girls. They want a Chick-fil-A, but basically this morning, all we've been doing is kind of hanging out. It's been so nice having a couch to actually sit on. Um, so that's been fun. Just this morning, me and my eldest, my youngest slept in because she was so tired from last night. We'd gone to a trampoline park with our church. And so she was pooped, so she slept in. She's usually my early riser. My oldest got up before my youngest, which is funny. It's like they re they reverse roles today. Um, so she was up, and so we were just hanging out in the living room watching Mr. Beast videos on YouTube. I'm sure you guys know who he is, but I, they're just so interesting to watch. So we've been watching his videos, and it's kind of having a slow morning. I have a lot to do today. I have a lot to do at my desk. I'm very behind on my desk. I'm always behind at my desk with YouTube stuff and home stuff and homeschool stuff. Um, prepping the homeschool room to redo it over the summer. You know, it's just been kind of a lot to do in my office, but that's what I've been doing today. I went ahead and stripped the bed. So I've got the sheath in the washer right now and the dishwasher's going. And then after a while, I'll have my oldest daughter unload the dishwasher and then I'll switch the sheets and stuff over and, and get the bed all ready for tonight. But that's all you've missed so far. That's what I'm doing right now is just going to get lunch and I'll check in with you guys here in a little bit. Okay, so my Amazon order came in and it's probably a bad time to be showing you guys this because the sun went down. It's like gloomy right now, but I really don't know what to do because like I said, the pillow came with gray accent pillows. There, it came with those and it came with that little one over there. I got two different cream pillow covers at Amazon. I actually had gotten a gray one too that's the same pattern as that one. I don't really like it, so I took those off and I'm deciding, do I like either one of these? And if so, which one do I like better? So first question, do you even like a cream accent pillow with the couch, whether or not we decide to use the gray, do you like the cream? If so, which one do you like better? These are the pillows that we use to like lay on and throw around, I mean, they're they're hopefully gonna be pretty enough to leave out, but it's not like this pillow where we're gonna like, if I even keep this one, it's not one you'd wanna lay on. It's not really easily washable and it's not very comfortable. These are comfortable and we use these to like, use as an elbow rest and sleep on and everything else. So, do you like the cream with the couch and the overall room? And if so, which one do you like better? That leads to the curtain question. And I, none of these may actually work. It's not like I can't look other places or get other options. These are just ones that came in that I told you guys I was going to show you. So the first thing to show you is my curtain that I already had up. And I've had these for years. They're eggplant, they're a sat, like, I don't know, they're actually real silk, I think, if I remember right. And they do have a little bit of texture, but not a whole lot which I like about them because number one, I'm going against all of the colors. I'm not trying to match or blend the wall, the couch or anything like that. I like that about the eggplant curtains. I also like that there's very little texture on here because the couch already has so much texture. As you can see, it's like a really thick thread with lots of different colors running through. So I like that the eggplant curtains are very, very low texture. So that's one thing I like about them. But I did want to, to possibly get something lighter to really brighten up the room. So I ordered a couple different options. This is the first option, which it looks like I was trying to match the wall, but not quite. I didn't really try to match the wall. I just picked colors that I thought might look nice. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I think it may be competing too much with the wall, with the couch. I like that it's darker than the couch because this panel here is a really gross, it was supposed to be ivory, but it's very yellow and not was not not going to work. So that one's not even going to be an option. I would have wanted to go a little bit darker than the couch or lighter than the couch. Definitely not something that's in the same tones. So I do like that these are darker than the couch. I don't know how I feel about them with the wall color because the wall color pulls really weird depending on the time of the day. Sometimes it can have a green cast to it even though it's not. So I don't know how I feel about those, but I feel like they are almost too much matchy matchy, but then just enough off to be a little bit strange. So that is what I don't like about those. I have two other options. I have these, which are quite a bit more gray. Um, but again, I feel like there's just too much texture in all of these. I feel like, is it competing with the texture of the couch? But I'm gonna go and hang 
I don't know if I, I don't know which ones I want. I think these are a kind of a pukey color. I'm not gonna hang those. I'm not gonna hang those. I'm gonna hang this one and let you guys tell me, do you even like either one of those options? I don't know. I just feel like they're too, too much the same as the wall and I don't know. I'm gonna hang them up and stop talking and then you guys can tell me. So I think, Loki, why do you have to tear that up every time I start talking? Every time. Why? He loves to play with cardboard. Like, I don't think any of these are gonna work. Um, I'm gonna send them all back, I think, uh, and keep looking. Maybe somewhere locally, I don't know. Um, but for now, I'm gonna put the eggplant ones back up and live with that for a while and see what I think. Loki, he's having a really good time. He doesn't care what curtains we keep. But anyway, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Decorating is a lot of trial and error, a lot of returns. I have $518 now worth of curtain panels that I have to return and um, thank goodness Amazon has free returns. But I am still deciding about those pillows. So you guys can weigh in and let me know what you think about the curtains. Um, like should I try to just keep looking for something lighter or should I go back to the eggplant? You guys let me know what you think. I hung up both eggplant panels. Really still like them. I really do. So does that mean I should just keep them even though I want to change them? I want them to be lighter. Maybe something different, I don't know. But I still like them and I like them for the reasons that I told you in the beginning when I first started telling you about why I like these curtains. I like the color, I like the contrast, I like the fact that there's not much texture. I like them. I just need to adjust them if I'm gonna hang them, like if I'm gonna keep them, I need to like make the hooks more spaced out. I don't know, what do you guys think? I need your help, I need your thoughts. Of course, if I keep the eggplant curtains, I will do probably an eggplant accent pillow there the one we like we don't use it's just for decoration um i used to have a couple actually but they have gotten worn over the years so i'll have to find you know eggplant accents to put on the couch but i really kind of just like these so you guys let me know what you think okay it is 3 45 and i just got dinner ready to go in the oven it's only going to take about 35 minutes to cook so i'm going to go work out while it's cooking my head looks so shiny right now um i'm gonna go cook work out while it's cooking but i am not in the mood i am dragging today the last thing i want to do right now is work out but i'm trying to get back into the habit of being consistent and not making excuses all the time so i am going to do something short but i am not going to do nothing but i'm going to show you what we're going to have for dinner it's i've made it a million times over and it's super simple and very healthy and we're gonna have enough leftovers for let's see one two three four five six my husband will have lunch with this for one day so i made so i made the it's like a one bake chicken meal but i end up having to use two pans because i have so many sweet potatoes and so many broccoli florets but basically that's what that is with some olive oil drizzled over and then i have chicken breast with some all-purpose seasoning on it and a little bit of olive oil. So you just cook it at 400 degrees for 35 minutes. Super simple um, and easy and it works really good for leftovers. It's a little bit later, I just got done working out. I've still got glasses marks on my nose uh, and I'm a little bit sweaty, but I do feel a little bit better. It was only a 12 minute workout and like a four minute stretch. So I do feel a little bit more energized, which sometimes that happens. They say that working out gives you energy and sometimes it does and sometimes it just sucks the life out of you. Today. It did give me a little bit of a boost that I needed. Um, the jury's still out on whether or not it helped my headache. I don't know, that may be decided after I eat dinner, which is gonna be ready in three minutes. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this weekly vlog here. I feel like it was a really short vlog, but maybe that's because most of my vlogs were too long, I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed spending a week with me. Don't forget to weigh in the comments and let me know what you think about the curtain. Should I keep the eggplant ones that I already had? Should I go with the lighter ones? I don't know, I'm just really confused and I don't know what to do and I, I'm not that good at decorating anyway and I usually don't have too much of a vision of what I want and even if I do, I can't usually find what I want so I'm just kind of at a loss of what to do. I need your guys' opinion. So if you wouldn't mind to leave that in the comments for me, I would appreciate any help you can give me. Also comment, let me know what you're up to this week. Do you have any plans going on? Do you have anything going on for summer? Any vacations? Let me know in the comments what you guys are up to. I will also wink, uh, wink, I will link my vlog playlist for you in the description box. There's a few day in the life videos in there too. 
but all previous 16 weekly vlogs that I've been doing this year are in that playlist as well. So if you aren't caught up, make sure you check the playlist and you can catch up with every single weekly vlog I've done so far. If you're liking these vlogs, make sure you give this one a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you head out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.